Engineers and artisans at Fleet Readiness Center East are always looking for innovative ways to improve their processes, such as removing coating and corrosion from metallic surfaces. Laser technology has been applied to the often grueling task of cleaning and stripping aircraft components and parts containers for rework. That's why FRC East's Advanced Technology and Innovation Team and Materials Engineering Division recently arranged a demonstration of a handheld laser ablation system, which is designed to clean metallic surfaces more quickly, safely, and efficiently than traditional methods of blasting, sanding, and chemical cleaning. This laser ablation system basically cooks and, and um, bakes off all the organic substances of the paint. So the only thing that is removed is the heavy metals and the stuff that is not uh, created into uh, CO2 or water or vapor. Laser ablation leaves the metal clean and ready for coating without damaging its structural integrity. Any waste that is left is pulled into a vacuum with a HEPA filter, an environmentally friendly disposal method. So anytime you have plastic media blasting or some of these other processes, the waste that's produced is considered hazardous waste and it's very expensive uh, to remove and to dispose of. Um, with this process, the only uh, hazmat you're going to have to deal with is the filters and the media that's collected into the HEPA filter. So uh, there's a whole lot less waste and uh, a whole lot safer for the environment, um, a whole lot cheaper for our facility, uh, just benefits all around. Over a three-day period, FRC East aircraft maintainers and engineers were joined by Marines from Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 14 at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina, and Coast Guardsmen from Coast Guard Air Station Elizabeth City to learn more about laser ablation. Representatives of Missouri-based Adapt Laser guided volunteers in using the 1,000-watt handheld laser unit to remove patches of paint from a large metal aircraft engine container. Participants say the laser system was clean, quiet, and easy to handle. If we were to go to something like laser ablation, we can remove the artisan from those environments, um, whereas before, it's something that's going to take longer. You have your chemicals in plastic media, you're not as precise, um, you have ergonomic injuries from repetitive motions, and the laser all you have to do is bring in safety glasses, um, you can put it from a hoist, and you can go to a laser blade. Employees in FRC East's packaging and preservation shop were the first to try the laser ablation system, and they gave it high marks for efficiency, safety, and cost effectiveness. This would save money all the way around. It would save on buying that blasting material, paying for the hazmat uh, removal of the material, and the, just the maintenance on the machine itself. Because with the current blasting map method with glass beads, um, it blows holes in the containers. This method, it does not uh, disturb the metal at all. The only holes that you're going to see is what's already there underneath of the current layers. If FRC East adopts the laser ablation technology, the plan would be to start small, using the system to clean storage cans and ground support equipment, then moving to smaller aircraft components. The ultimate goal would be to acquire a robotic laser ablation system to clean a full aircraft. FRC East engineers say they expect the system would pay for itself in the long run by cutting the cost of purchasing and disposing of hazardous materials. They also credit the system with other benefits, like quick or turnaround time, improved worker safety, and decreased environmental hazards. Members of the Advanced Technology and Innovation Team say the demonstration was a positive first step toward acquiring laser ablation technology at FRC East. I think it was a, a, a perfect 10. I mean, we had various different groups come down. We had leadership. We had various other uh, artisans, we had MALs, we had Marines come in, we had Coast Guard guys, and everybody, everybody had great feedback for us. So I think we're on the right track to, uh, to help everybody out and um, uh, move forward with this project. Reporting for Fleet Readiness Center East, I'm Kimberly Koontz.